here we have my main foil board for the upcoming racing season 2024. Um, it's the Patrick Foil Comp 85 centimeter wide V3, so version number three. It got some um, small but significant updates and yeah, I will just quickly talk you through it. And uh, we can start here with the nose um, because first of all, what the, what the goal was um, for the next version of the board it was to make it even more efficient in high wind because for the PWA World Cup, we're just allowed to use uh, one board for the upcoming season. And uh, we figured out that our board has great um, low wind um, power and uh, a good wind range. And we wanted to make it a bit more efficient in the strong winds. So what we did is we, we made the nose a touch um, slimmer because um, this helps basically if you're railing the board and going quick, um, the, the gas and the, the, the wind doesn't push the board um, down so much anymore. So I believe this will help a lot. And for example, in Fuerteventura, when it's about 30 knots and the, the wind is coming over a mountain, um, because there I felt it a lot sometimes that really you can feel, you see the gust in the water and it pushed the board down. So this won't happen with this uh, model now. At the same time, as I said, we reduced the, the width of the nose, but we made it a bit thicker here in the middle. And so basically it became a bit more pointy. You can imagine like an arrow. So overall it will just be more neutral and more efficient um, through the wind. So yeah, the aerodyna aerodynamics improved a lot with this board. And yeah, I can't wait to, to use it in the strong wind sessions. And um, yeah, that's it for the nose of the board. So let's check the back. Actually, let's start with something that is not new and it's the, the cutouts of the board. Um, I believe we figured out a nice uh, way to, to have them. And uh, basically they have been there uh, since, since I'm with the team already. So I didn't have much influence on those, but um, they are working extremely well. And I think it's pretty rare that you see a Patrick rider crashing due to a touchdown. And yeah, I think that's because we have a great, um, yeah, a great performing board uh, when you have touchdowns over a little drop or even bigger waves. So we left this unchanged. We added two more holes um, additionally. So um, yeah, there are just many more options um, for you to, yeah, to get your own uh, preferences uh, set with the, with the foot straps. And um, I will for sure play around a bit more. Last year I had a very comfortable feeling, but I, I still believe I can do some changes and play around a little bit, especially this year. And um, yeah, in upcoming videos, uh, I will show you maybe my final settings, my final setup, uh, if I found them or when I found them for the season. And by the way, maybe you have realized that all my foot straps are pointing inside with a, with a brand name. And um, you can take a guess in the comments uh, what, what's the reason for that. And um, yeah, I'm curious if someone will get this right. You will for sure get a, get a shout out in the, in the setting video because uh, yeah, I think it's, it's a small thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just curious if, if somebody has a creative idea or a smart idea, what's the reason for that. And um, so let's continue with the last thing that we've changed on this board and it's the angle of the deck. So um, now you have um, a little bit, um, it's first of all a bit more comfortable and you just feel a bit more connected with the board. Um, so yeah, these are basically the changes. One, one uh, small thing as well, that the full box now is um, the full flat one now. So before it was angled, so you had to use the foil mass um, which are also angled, but now you can fit um, all of the foil masks without any problems in there. And um, yeah, I guess that's nice as well. And other than that, yeah, the board had great success last season and I believe we stepped it up even more. So um, yeah, let's go for some action.